Speaking of President Carter, the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies is hosting an exclusive conversation online today with Zbigniew Brzezinski, the late national security advisor to President Carter, and of course, Mika's dad. With us now to talk about it, the author of the forthcoming book on Dr. Brzezinski, U.S. national editor at the Financial Times, Ed Luce, and former U.S. ambassador to Sweden under President Obama, Mark Brzezinski. He served on the National Security Council staff under President Clinton as director of Russian and Eurasian Affairs. We also have the dean of Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies, Elliot Cohen. All three will be joining the discussion online later this morning. Uh, and Ed, let's begin with you. First of all, great news about the upcoming biography on Dr. Brzezinski. I know you've been a bit preoccupied with this election, but I know the family is so excited about uh, you doing this. Uh, look, he's one of the great strategic brains um, of American foreign policy. He'd be up there with Henry Kissinger, um, George Cannon, um, but has had far less attention paid to him than, than those two figures. Um, and I think uh, the, the sort of scope of uh, Spig's brain and the strategic impact of what he did, not just for Carter as national security advisor, but in setting up the whole debate about how America handled the Cold War and then what it should do after the Cold War is, I think, a very underappreciated life biography. It's a fascinating life, and I'm delighted to, to be his biographer. No, and, and Elliot, uh, your school obviously meant an awful lot to Dr. Brzezinski. Uh, and I, what a, uh, I can't think of a better place to have the Brzezinski Institute. What are you hoping uh, to happen today? Well, uh, the first thing I want to say is just how delighted we are to uh, to host this. I'm I'm looking forward to uh, drawing Ed out a little bit on uh, what he thinks some of the key themes of Spig's life were, uh, how he thought about the world, and really also get a bit into a reflection on life and times. Uh, you know, Spig was a towering figure uh, at the end of the Cold War. I'd like us to reflect a little bit on that and everything that's happened since. One thing I should mention is uh, Spig, for many years, was at Johns Hopkins size. Uh, he conducted a very famous seminar, which you uh, you had to apply to get in, and that that's for the full professors. Uh, and I was uh, I was chuffed when he, uh, he he let me into the room. So he was an active intellect all the way through. It's one of the things that's quite remarkable about him. Well, and not just we're seeing pictures, of course, with President Carter, the man who uh, uh, gave Dr. Brzezinski the honor of working for him as a national security advisor. <laughs> Despite the fact at times uh, he could be difficult, uh, President Carter remained patient with him and actually loved the fact uh, that he spoke his mind. But Dr. Brzezinski also worked for Ronald Reagan uh, offline, uh, often would go in and advise uh, President Reagan, uh, George H.W. Bush, uh, Republicans and Democrats alike. And thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.